Guys, what is going on? It is Chris Colgan, your favorite DC area real estate agent. And in this video, I wanted to do an updated look at the pros and cons of Fairfax, Virginia. As we know, this area changes rapidly. So let's get right into it. Yeah. Number one pro with Fairfax, probably while you're watching this video, if you're gonna be moving to the area, is the job market. Fairfax County has one of the best job markets in all of the United States. We have Amazon, Lockheed Martin, Microsoft, Verizon, pretty much any company you can think of and plenty of defense contractors and most of my clients also work for the federal government like the department of justice or the military department of defense but the job market is one of the main pros of fairfax county and also a lot of the job pay a lot more than what average areas across the country get so number one pro has got to be the job market in fairfax county number two in real estate they say location 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 and Fairfax has that prime location. It is super close to Washington, D.C. So if you're gonna be working in D.C., Fairfax would be a great option because obviously we have the metro system. You can also drive on 66 and drive right into D.C. or the Pentagon there and Arlington as well or hop on the Beltway and head towards Maryland. Pretty much all the travel options and public transportation you could think of, but proximity to DC is huge. I mean, you could be working, get off at five and then go head into DC and watch a show or have dinner within 20 minutes. You'd be in in DC and watch your show and then be back home within 20, 30 minutes, as long as traffic isn't that bad. But like I said, location, 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 and that is a huge pro for Fairfax. Another big pro that a lot of people don't realize is there are all kinds of housing options in Fairfax. Probably the only thing that you won't get is like a farm on 10 acres because that would just be millions upon millions of dollars. But Fairfax will have the little one bedroom loft style condo to the 20,000 square foot mansions. Pretty much anything you want. There's a ton of condos from garden one to four floors to high rise is over in McLean and Ruston, Virginia to townhouses and you can get like a normal townhouse that's maybe 2,200 square feet for four to 500,000 to a luxury townhouse for $2 million in Ruston or Fairfax, pretty much anywhere that you can think of. So there are plenty of housing options. By the way, I am a Northern Virginia, DC area real estate expert. And if you're thinking about buying a house, you better text me or email me at the info below, but let's keep going into the video. Another huge pro, number four, I don't know why I'm flashing number four, but another huge pro is gonna be the weather around here and we're not prone to natural disasters. I saw the other day that Fortune Magazine said our area here in Northern Virginia was one of the best places to retire and the reason being was our healthcare systems and also we're not prone to natural disasters. Luckily, we don't have a lot of hurricanes or earthquakes or wildfires, things like that here in Fairfax County. So that is a huge pro and you get to experience all four seasons, the summer, it can get brutally hot, but you do have the fall where the leaves change. Everyone goes to wineries, breweries, all that. And then we have winter and we don't get that much snow here. Then you have the beautiful spring where the leaves start to change and it does rain a lot around here, but the weather is definitely beautiful. Is it like Florida where it's hot all the time? Absolutely not. Does it get a little bit depressing during the winter? Yes, it surely can. But I think the weather here is a huge plus. Now, of course, we got to mention the cons. And like I said, before I get into that, definitely text me at the number below if you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere in the DC area or the country for that matter. I can help you. I'm a real estate agent here based out in Northern Virginia, Chris Colgan with eXp Realty. And you better smash that subscribe button to help me with the YouTube algorithm. But number one thing I got to talk about when I'm talking about cons is it is expensive to live in Fairfax County. Number one, we do have an expensive of car tax. I um, was passed out when I got mine this year. It was about $1,500 for my vehicle. It used to be a lot more and they brought it down somewhat, but you know what? That still is a huge con and it still can be expensive. So if you're driving around a Lamborghini, expect to pay a huge, huge car tax bill every year. The other thing is the housing prices are obviously really way up there because a lot of the salaries are high as well, but the medium sales price in Fairfax is $700,000 and the average house actually sells for a 102% of list price. So most houses in Fairfax County get bid up. They don't actually sell for undervalue or anything like that. A lot of people will come to the area and want me to write an offer and they'll say go 50,000 low. And I tell them in our market around here in Northern Virginia, 
know, that just doesn't really happen. We're so transient. We have so many people moving in and out all the time. And also another thing that gets a little bit expensive talking about that is a lot of these hot lanes on 66 and things like that. I've seen it become 40 or $50 to use those. It does allow you to cut traffic so you don't have to sit in traffic as bad, but you know what? It can be super expensive to live in Fairfax. Definitely keep that in mind. If you're looking for cheaper living, you might want to check out some of the suburbs, like maybe a Haymarket, Virginia, Leesburg, Virginia, but even those areas can get super expensive as well. Number two, another huge con is the traffic problems here in Fairfax and Northern Virginia. There's a lot of stoplights and then during rush hour, the traffic can get really bad, especially around like the Vienna Metro area on Route 66 or anywhere on the Beltway. Be prepared to sit in some traffic. A lot of people though, I will say, work from home now. Like my cousin just got a big new job out of Herndon and guess what? He works out of home in Vienna, Virginia. He didn't even have to go to Herndon, so the traffic's not bad for him, but traffic around here can get really bad. So if you're thinking about moving out here, definitely hit me up and I can tell you, hey, that commute is gonna be pretty bad or it might not be that bad or you can take the metro or you take the vre train whatever option you want but you got to build in traffic around here on the weekends too it gets brutal a lot of tourists go into dc a lot of people go out of town and just want to get out of the area and the traffic here even on the weekends can be so bad so definitely keep that in mind it is a huge con number three urban sprawl you know what if you watch yellowstone and you want to have a ranch fairfax county is not going to be the place for you there's a ton of urban sprawl here there is just not much land a lot of concrete a lot of highways a lot of houses not a lot of great views i mean it's a beautiful area don't get me wrong but there's a lot of urban sprawl tall buildings things like that if you want more land you're definitely gonna have to go out into the suburbs a lot of people will hit me up and say hey I'm looking for a house on an acre near Fairfax for under 400,000 and I'm like you know what if I found that house, I would buy it myself. They just don't exist. There's not that many houses in Fairfax with an acre or more. And if they are, they are just multi-million dollar properties. So not much land left in Fairfax County. That's why when you saw a lot of the new construction coming in around here, it's usually been other places they have tore down or bought out older complexes things like that and rebuild. But you know what? Ton of urban sprawl and not much Greenland around Fairfax County. Number four, a big con. I mentioned the weather before, but again, I'm gonna bring it up again. The summer here can get brutally hot. There are plenty of HVAC companies around Northern Virginia because HVAC systems only last about eight to 10 years here in Fairfax because of we have all these weather extremes. So they can be 100 degrees in July and August. Then it can be 20 degrees November through January. This past winter though, we didn't really get Get a bad winter but tons of different weather extremes here in Fairfax County so definitely keep that in mind if you're somebody who just likes things to be the same that will definitely not be for you and you definitely want to make sure you have a place with good air conditioning most houses around here have air conditioning but that can be a huge con for living in Fairfax. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you're thinking about buying a house here, I am a real estate agent. Most of my buyers and sellers come from this YouTube channel. So definitely subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I don't know why I said it like a game show host, but you know what? Text me if you're thinking about buying or selling a home. As always, I'll see you at the top or from the top.